Naked Hiker Day. Bears, it's not rattlesnakes. And if my mom was here, she'd tell me to turn around. Naked Hiker Day Adventure. Jeez, <laughs> oh, this is actually tough. And I cried and held me. It was a beautiful thing. Makes, Every day gets makes me full of cheer. So, so it is June twenty-first. Which, for those of you in the hiking community, know this is Naked Hiker Day. Ah. Uh, I will admit that, uh, all right, it's a little, uh, it's a little cold this morning. So, um, <laughs> there is a bar up ahead, so maybe I'll get uh, a little liquid courage and liquid warmth. But for now, I'm going to say this box has been checked. I'm going to stop the camera. And I'm gonna put back on my shorts. Cause uh like you said it's a little cold and uh uh it's not the most effective advertisement. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Let's get my clothes back on. This is crazy. But that box has been checked. All right, much better. Uh, although it is still wet and cold. So, uh, and uh, in case anybody was curious, I have yet to see another naked hiker. So, maybe, maybe it was like they're pulling my leg or something. Pulling something. Uh, anyways, <laughs> the plan for today is to walk uh, 17 and change to the Gren Anderson shelter. Um, I've been hiking, well, the last two days, uh, hiking with two guys that I met up in the hostel. Uh, one guy's name is Chickpea, the other one is Rooster. And uh, it's amazing how much you learn from these guys. You know, I, I have a military background and I came out here and I thought that, you know, I mean, I thought I knew what I was doing. And for the most part, I do. A lot of skills do translate. Uh, but, um, but these guys have been hiking for a very long time and, uh, and I continue to learn stuff from them. Um, continue to learn stuff from everybody around me. Uh, Rooster actually showed me. So after 350 miles, Rooster is like, hey, would you like to know how to set up your tent a little bit more taunt? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm looking at his tent. We happen to have the same tent. And, uh, and he showed me a technique how to set up my tent. So <laughs> after a month of being on the trail, I finally learned how to set up my tent. So as an example, um, you got to be modest out here, you know? Tonight uh, at the shelter, Glenn Anderson Shelter, Chicopee, like I guess right next door is a uh, is a bog, and uh, and this guy is just stoked to make frog legs. So I've never had frog legs, so I figure, what the hell? Um, uh, about three miles before that is the Culver Gap. And there's some great reviews for delis 
and a couple taverns and it's right off the trail so the plan is to go in there uh, sometime after lunch and uh, and have a have a beer and maybe a late lunch and uh, grab a beer or two to take up to the shelter where Chicopee is going to introduce me to frog legs. Very exciting stuff. Um, but as you can see right now on the trail, I mean this is this is easy stuff right here. Uh, I can actually say um, somewhere around mile uh, 13, 15 ish, uh, the rocks look to have disappeared. So, bye bye, rocks. Finally, bye bye, Pennsylvania, and your rockiness. Um, it rained last night, so that's why it's a little wet, but it looks like the sun's coming out, so it should be a beautiful day, you know? Uh, Hamburger at a tavern with a nice IPA, uh, followed by uh, frog legs for dinner. I'm extremely excited. You guys just missed it 10 seconds ago he was talking to himself thank you so much for watching this video there's gonna be a new video released every week so please subscribe and ring the bell that way you'll know when new videos are released and I'll know that you're enjoying the videos thank you for watching